If you have an SR or SR Plus Tesla Model 3 and you do not have speakers by shining a flashlight through your speaker room, you may need to change your entire rear deck. The reason why you would need to do that is the wiring harness that runs back there only has two wires for the brake light. There's no wiring harness for the speakers. So here's the rear deck I purchased from eBay. As you can see, it has a single grill across it. Um, I was going to originally switch the whole deck out, but this fabric is sun faded. Uh, and I've got a brand new car and I don't want that. So what I've decided to do for multiple reasons, I'm going to take the speaker and the harness off of this deck and install it into the deck that came with my car. All right, so now we're going to pop off the driver's side. I'll just reach in here underneath the seal, kind of get my fingers here, run it down, and lightly pull out. There it goes. Once this is loose, that's gone. This panel here just pops out. Just pull it towards you. Okay, when I figured out the trick to taking this panel off is there's like three clips that are in here. The best way to get at it is just get your arm, just kind of feed it all the way through and then you pull out, push out with your hand and that pop right out. Now this panel is nice and loose. I right, just want to show you what, what we have going on with this panel. It's held in here by uh, these cords and it's for this airbag right here. If the airbag goes off or what, for some reason, this doesn't go shooting across and hit somebody. The airbag will come down and then this will be left in this sort of position here. So I'm just gonna leave it hanging. I don't see a reason why I need to fight with taking these clips out unless it ends up bothering me at the end. Um, you can see here, I've got some uh, connections. Here we've got some wiring connections. I'll be removing the uh, clips here. <clears throat> got the two uh, wiring harnesses. They're on the top of the uh, rear deck panel. They're on the new one. Can show you where they are. Right here, this hole, and this hole. So I gotta pop those clips out. Alright, so I've disconnected the coax that hooks up to the module up here. Uh, now I'm gonna disconnect. Uh, well, first, I'm gonna take this uh, clip out here. Christmas 
Well, on the side has just the one wire coming up right here. It's got a connector. Part of the kit I have is a pick here. I'm gonna be using that. Okay, so taking that connector out ended up being a uh, two-handed jo two job, so there's a picture of the connector. So. And now back here, this uh, wire is held on to the side of the, the car with a clamp. There you go, pop that out. There's that clip, so once I pop this one out, this should be free to come forward. All right, so one thing to note when installing the rear shelf, we've got these clips right here where these indentations are on the most outer side. We've got these clips, and you need to make sure that these slide in underneath the middle. It, when you push it in, it just wants to rest on top. So by sliding them in, you're guarantee it locks in place. So that's uh, these these three in the back slid in very easy. These two here, though, you kind of gotta make sure they they guide into the the hole. So. So I think to watch out for when you're installing the rear. So I want to talk a little bit about why do all this work for changing out the rear deck. So as you can see, here's the bottom of the trunk. It's solid metal. There's no way to place the speakers from the bottom side. As you can see, I've got the interior all back together. That top piece there, you just have to really put a push really hard. The trick I learned was start with the back, get it lined up, put, snap that in. And then you've got good confidence when you push hard on the top, on the front that you're lined up and going in. Everything else went in as it came out. I didn't want to use a rear deck that was sent to me. It had some condition issues that I wasn't happy with. So I used my brand new deck and modified it. I do have a second video that will show how to modify the rear deck to add speakers. In that video though, I'm just adding the Tesla stock speakers. So just by adding this rear deck doesn't activate the rear speakers. You're going to need additional parts for that. Tesla Offer makes a harness that will activate all of your speakers. Honcho is another option. They have three options. Either you can buy a harness that just uses your ice or your head unit to power the speakers, which can kind of put a strain on that. They also have another package that adds a DSP and a subwoofer. And finally, they have a third package that replaces some of the door speakers. I'm gonna go for the middle level package, and that's why this was important to me, to go on and change the rear deck so I have speakers back there. Tesla doesn't offer this as an option for you to add when you're purchasing your car. This is just another way to get all of your speakers working. My channel is Hit Up Olas for DIY. Please like, subscribe for more content.